Hey everyone! I'm going to show you guys how to get beautiful, soft, natural looking curls without using a curling iron and without using a hair straightener. And it's really fast, really easy, you don't need to really use much. There's only three products uh, primarily that you need to use. And I'm going to kind of walk you guys through the steps. I just made a video yesterday or two days ago on how to get maximum volume for your hair. You can click here if you'd like to see that. And so I'm just going to kind of format this video in a similar way, just kind of walking you guys through the steps on how to get this look. So what you're going to need to do first thing is, for those of you that like to take showers in the morning, because I know that, especially on weekends and things like that, I usually take showers in the morning, but while I'm at college, it's just easier as a time saver to take a shower at night. So to get this look, this particular look, without using any other hair products to actually curl your hair, this needs to be done at night. So I would recommend taking a shower at night and then after you are done blow drying your hair, you don't need to necessarily do it in any specific way or anything, just as long as you get your hair dried. Um, I know that some people like to take a shower and have their hair air dry and go to bed with their hair wet, but this uh, actually works better if you make your hair really dry and kind of frizzy so that it kind of holds the curls intact. I know that sounds really weird, but trust me, I have tried making my hair in different ways and I find that it works a lot better if you kind of make it almost frizzier. Not necessarily that you need to tease it or anything, but just don't worry about little odds and ends of your hair sticking out in different places um, at night. So what you just need to do is, is just dry your hair and I would recommend putting some sort of product in your hair after you're done blow drying it before doing this next step. So in my December's favorites video, I said this Bomb de Terre. It's a um, foundation that I put that kind of protects it from the heat, things like that. And I have mentioned that I used to have really, really curly, curly hair. And it's not so much curly anymore, it's kind of just naturally wavy, but it kind of blow dries straight. And it still kind of frizzes at times, so this stuff really, really works, and I highly recommend using it. So after, you know, you get out of the shower, I blow dried my hair. I put this in my hair before I blow dry it, so it depends on what type of product you use. This stuff you're supposed to use while it's wet, and so you let this sit in your hair for a good 10 minutes, and then you blow dry your hair. But if you want to use an anti-frizz or something like that, then um, blow dry your hair first and then put the product in your hair. And then the next thing that you're going to want to do, and this is going to look really weird, but this is how you get this look. You're going to take two little butterfly clips, and I'm going to show you guys kind of how to do it. It's going to kind of mess it up afterwards, but whatever. Um, it's kind of really hard to explain, so I'll show you guys uh, what to do. But basically, the what you're going to want to do is take these butterfly clips and part your hair, take all of it to the front, and what you're going to aim to do is take your hair and kind of twist it and put it in two little buns um, kind of like the Spice Girls, Scary Spice, she used to wear her hair in those like little things on top of her head so that's kind of what you're aiming to do. You're going to take it and twist it up and put these little clips in and leave it in all night and I know that sometimes it kind of gets untwisted or whatever while you're sleeping during the night but just make sure that you do it really really tight and put the clip in and the last step that you're going to want to do is use some sort of hairspray to put on top of the little bun thingies once you have them in to kind of keep it in place and this will harden and make it um, make the curls look a lot tighter whenever you unravel them in the morning so it's really easy to do at night but you're going to need to do it the night before so that when you wake up it is so easy because this is something that I really like to do at college because I don't really have time to do my hair in the morning you know in my personal opinion it's either sleep in or get up early and take a whole lot of time to do your hair so you know obviously you want it to look nice and whatever and this is super easy you honestly just wake up put your makeup on first you know wash your face put your makeup on first and so that you're leaving your hair in those little bun thingies as long as possible and then right before you go to class or right before you get on the bus to go to school you just take them down and put a little bit more hairspray I just added like a little bit more hairspray um, during the day and it pretty much holds so that is pretty much it it's just really quick really easy and again just do it the night before so just showing you guys what to do with these little clip butterfly clips so again bring all of your hair to the front I'm just going to take like one side of it 
So it's pretty much almost like you're putting it in a little ponytail thing. So once you have it in your hands, you take your, I guess it, I don't know if it really matters like what hand you use because I'm right handed but I'm using my left. So it just, I don't know, it doesn't really matter I guess. But you take your left hand and kind of keep it here. And then with your other hand, you're going to wrap it around your finger that you kind of keep in your hair to keep it in place. And you're just going to keep on wrapping it until you get a very, very tight little bun. And then take one of these butterfly clips and put it in like that. I would suggest putting it kind of inside the middle so that it's holding it really, really well. And then again, just take this part and do the same thing. And take your other little clip and put it in the same place. So that is what it's going to look like when you go to sleep. But I mean, hey, it's pretty cool, right? You're kind of rocking this whole <laughs> whatever look. And then, um, like I said, just take a hairspray and just lightly, I already have a lot of hairspray in it now, so I'm not going to put as much in. But put as much in as you want. If you have really thick hair, I would obviously suggest to put in a lot more. Um, if you kind of have fair, not as thick hair, then um, you don't need to put as much in. But it's, I guess it's just a personal preference. Um, and it also just depends on what you are doing that day. If you need to have more of a maximum hold on the curls, then I would suggest putting in a lot more hairspray. And then again, in the morning, what you do is you just take out these clips and kind of just shake your hair out <laughs> um, and it just kind of falls into place and if you need to use the straightener to kind of um, tame those little wispy things whatever these things are called um, then you can do that but sometimes it almost looks more natural if you just let them be and again because I twisted it it probably messed up the curls now because it's like they're going in different directions. But that's the general gist of it. And then, again, just to kind of hold them in place, you're just going to take your hairspray and just kind of use it to hold it in place and kind of scrunch it to get more of the volume. And I really love this hairspray. It is Rusk. And in my other video that I made on how to get maximum volume for your hair I'm actually giving this away as a giveaway so for any of you that would like to have this it comes with a cute little silver clutch I thought was adorable so leave me a comment on the other video not this one on the other video with two to three of your New Year's resolutions and you will be entered for a chance to win this hairspray plus the silver tote or the silver not tote the silver clutch and um, I show the product in the other video so you guys can click the other video and I'll also put it in the description bar if you missed the link from the front um, you can go check that out all right well thank you all so much for watching I hope that you guys enjoyed these little tips and if you have any questions or any video requests uh, please you know send me a message or whatever I also have a Facebook that I'll put in the description bar below if you guys you know want to just say hello or whatever you can friend request me on Facebook and there are also a bunch of other things. I had an updates video with a bunch of things that I've been working on. And um, there is also going to be a contest coming up soon um, for reaching 500 subscribers. And thank you all so much for subscribing. I really do appreciate all of your support and your comments. You guys are awesome. And it's probably going to be an assortment of makeup and things like that. So um, you guys can also check the description bar. I have um, an e-boutique with different products so you guys can go check that out all right thank you all so much for watching i hope you're having a great day and um yeah thanks for watching bye